वेलकम टू क्विक लिटरेचर एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर लिटरेचर वीडियोस एमोरेटी सोनेट 37 एडमंड स्पेंसर इन दिस सोनेट एडमंड स्पेंसर एक्सप्रेसेस हिज लव फॉर एलिजाबेथ बोएल ही डिस्क्राइब्स द फिजिकल ब्यूटी ऑफ हिज बिलवेड इन दिस सोनेट व्हाट गाइल इज दिस दैट दोस हर गोल्डन ट्रेसेस शी डथ अटायर अंडर अ नेट ऑफ गोल्ड एंड विद स्लाई स्किल सो कनिंगली देम ड्रेसेस दैट व्हिच इज गोल्ड और हेयर may scarf be told in the beginning the poet asks what this it it is that his beloved's curly hair shine like gold he admires her skill of dressing her hair so beautifully praising her he says it is hard to tell if they are real or made of gold is it that men's frail eyes which gaze too bold she may entangle in that golden snare and being caught may craftily enfold their weaker hearts which are not well aware Spencer further says that frail eyes of men stare shamelessly at her golden hair. He says she can entangle them in the locks of her hair. She can cunningly entrap them even without them being aware about it. Take heed therefore mine eyes how ye do stare henceforth too rashly on that guileful net. The poet gives a warning to himself that he should avoid staring at her golden hair that are like a trap in which he too can fall. in which if ever ye entrapped are out of her bands ye by no means shall get fondness it were for any being free to covet fetters though they golden be however he knows that no man not even the poet can escape the beautiful sight of his beloved her curls may be golden but these could be a trap as well and getting out of it would be impossible thanks for watching do like and subscribe